am home from my surgery. Guess what? what? Mommy has no more cancer at all. It's all the way gone. That's good news. Yes! <laughs> surgery. I did a little bit of video just of my view there because it was so pretty but I felt really awkward trying to vlog there because I had a roommate and I didn't want to weird her out so I just showed a few things and just rested a lot but it was a really good hospital stay. Um, they informed us that they have all the COVID patients on one floor that was separate <laughs> from the floor we were on which um, put my mind at ease a lot that I could actually breathe in there without um, a mask. But it was so beautiful. I had just this panoramic view of the Puget Sound and the Olympic Mountains and the ferries going back and forth and that just did wonders for my mental state. And everyone's prayers and love and everything, I could feel it. It was just lifting me up. Between that and the view and having all the right drugs, <laughs> um, as in pain medication for now, um, I'm feeling really good. So I'm finally at home and I have my special little blouse here that uh, my friend who had a mastectomy uh, told me about and it holds the drain in it for you. It has a special little pocket in there. Um, and I'm wearing a sling because I'm supposed to be very minimally using my arm and not lifting with it or anything and I have to have Bill help me get dressed so that I'm not extending my arm too far. So yeah, so that's that's what's going on. The surgeon said that it went well and that he couldn't see anything obvious, that it, it didn't look like it had spread anywhere, which is good, but they still have to send in the, the uh, lymph nodes for pathology to know for sure. My lips are dry, my eyes are dry, everything is dry because they gave me this medication that dries up everything and so eating has been <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I'm just like having to moisturize all the time and drink water all the time right now. So. I had really good nurses and they took really good care of me and yeah, now it's just recovery time. I'm one booby short now, but I'm actually feeling really good about that because I was just getting to the point where I wanted the cancer out of me and it is now and that gives me this huge sense of relief. So <clears throat> anyway, clearly I'm losing <coughs> my voice, so I'm going to sign off, but just wanted to say that <coughs> that was my experience and so far it's been a really good one and I'm really glad it's over and relieved now. So anyway, I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Are you in a boat, Teo? Are you going sailing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whee! Okay. You're gonna wear Mommy's granddad out. <laughs> Back to the dock. Okay, the boat is at the dock. <laughs> This is how we are quarantining and recovering from mastectomy. Yeah. And we've got all the people we love all in one place, which makes quarantining a yeah. lot easier. We're quarantining. We're, yes. Together. That's what? right. Mommy. Quarantine what? buddies. What? Guess what? what? Mommy has no more cancer at all. It's all the way gone. That's good news. Yes! <laughs> yes! That means do mommy chemo? doesn't have to do chemo. I don't have to do chemo. You yeah, are yeah, right. Yeah. It was good that yeah, we I had <laughs> that I was got so, rid of it when I did. Yeah. Yeah. You guys happy about that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank the Lord. Yes. <laughs> that is good news. Are you happy too? Right. And so and so what's the start?
star's core runs out. <laughs> now he's back on top. <laughs> back to he's back on to astronomy Talking now. about supernovas. <laughs> Are you happy, Sophie? Once, once yeah. Jupiter, 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 Jupi
did. Yeah, he's, I explained that to him this year and he's like, okay. <laughs> he's okay with changing his strategy. It's an egg! I got the idea this year. He's not probably not going to get as many as that, he's going to get some. Oh, and you took a bite of your chocolate. Oh, you're going to be all sugared up. A little sugared up toddler. Is that yummy? It's a chocolate egg. Do you like chocolate eggs? Oh, you're going to be sugared up. <laughs> I see one of the hey, Sophie, Sophie, there's another one right at my feet. I, I can't go. I can't go. Daddy. Oh, he's so polite. He said thank you, Daddy. It's got mango in it. You got one, two, thank three, you, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's a lot of eggs. Even Tao has got eight of them. That's pretty good. For a little guy. Yeah. How many does Sophie have now? Sophie's always the champ. Yeah. She's got a lot. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's usually how it goes every year. <laughs> Can you show me? You got eggs. Look at that. So many eggs. Yeah, Teo, did the Easter Bunny come? Yeah. Yeah. You found another one. Is it a purple one? Yeah. Good job, Betty. Is this exciting? Yeah, last year he didn't quite get it yet. Now he gets it. Look around. You found another one. He's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, buddy. Good job. You're doing great. Very good, okay, Sophie. Good job. We're now counting them all. The Easter Bunny emailed Daddy and said there were 72 eggs. Here is all the loot. And our church was so nice. They stopped by the other day and dropped off one Easter basket for each each kid. It's really sweet, the purple and the yellow ones. So they couldn't be at church for Easter this year. Yeah? Ooh, yummy. Do you love your bunnies? Yolk. Aww. You can eat that with the salt now if you want. Oh, so sweet. I can see that. I can see that's a candy. Just a little snuggle bug. Or the, or the dish. Maple. Do you maple see the baby tree. maples? Where are they? Right there. Yeah. They're tiny and they have little tiny maple leaves on them. Can you imagine that those giant ones over there started just like that and now, now look how huge they look like they that. Isn't that cool? 
bucket pile in the bucket. Oh, okay. It's not prickly. I don't know what kind of leaf that is. I'm not sure. It's kind of shiny and smooth. What kind of tree is this? That's a cedar tree. How, how can you tell? Because it has bark like I saw Yeah, it has peely bark. Sophie, what do you see? Oh, a, a, a hole. You see a big hole? Yes. What do you think lives in there? A raccoon. Do you think or, a raccoon lives in there? I think a raccoon or a squirrel, squirrel lives in there. Yeah, probably. Something lives in there. The home of some little creature. Looks like there's been some creature making a little bed of bark or something. Huh. I wish I could go inside there. You're too big. It's made for a little critter. I wish I was an animal that went inside there. Yeah. It's almost like a buzz. Deep chirp chirp. Yeah, well sometimes they do it a little differently too. I think they, their different calls mean different things. Right. Look at you guys! Can you do it to me? Can you do it to me? <laughs> do it and do it and me. <laughs> do it on me. I'm. just outside the hospital where all of the personnel inside can see. This is so cool. Hey everyone, look out for wasps! Okay Alex. So if I see a wasp. I'm a, I'm a mess. Uh oh, yeah, you, you do that, I don't you? Are you planting some seeds? Grandma has them. See? Grandma has the seeds. Make sure you get it in the bucket this time. There you go. I'm getting, I'm You're getting dirt in I'm yours. Would you like me to help? No. Just yeah. ask you. Alright. Planting our garden. I will have two. Alright, all done We're with doing those. the squash now. Now we're going to do zucchini. I'm going to do the zucchini. Oh, I guess that was zucchini. Never mind. <laughs> now we're going to do squash. We've already put in some potatoes, carrots, Onions and radishes over. Was it was it radishes? Or what did we put over here? I can't remember. And we've done peas against the trellis here. Okay, no, no. This is what we get with two-year-old help. Yeah. All right, that's good for that. But that's okay. He's learning. You want to play? I'll play a sun. Play in the sun? Yeah, go play in the sun. Yeah, we just planted the seeds, what, yesterday or a day before yesterday? It'll take, a, it'll take a little bit for them to come up. Okay, I'll check every day to make sure they can, uh, oh, I see a little plant. Okay, you what? have a little glowing halo of frizz. <laughs> what?
Seattle and back, staying in the car the entire time. Our air is circulating for ourselves, and we're getting, we're busting out. We're getting out of the house, just going on a nice little pleasant drive, staying safe. And here is 5 o'clock rush hour. <laughs> Mark it in the history books. During the age of coronavirus. Yep, during the age of coronavirus, this is 5 o'clock rush hour. <laughs> and here is the Ship Canal Bridge at 5.20 p.m. There's a few cars. Not too much, and there's Seattle. Coronaviral traffic. That's right. Here's Mercer at 5.20 p.m. Usually completely solid back-to-back -back traffic and we're just sailing on through. Take a quick little loop around the Experience Music Project here. And all the, the cool playground is closed right now, but we can get a good view of the space needle. Alright kids, now we're getting a little view of the space needle, huh? And there's the now. utterly empty parking lot that is usually jam-packed right there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Which is not running. There's very, very little public transportation right now. And the bus says essential trips only. <laughs> only for people who have no other option. They don't own a car. There's the Seattle Library. On a whim, we're going to wave through the car window to get to Carol and Uncle Jim says they live down here. Where are they? Are you guys not? ready to wave? Can you practice waving? There's Uncle Jim with his mask. Can they get through? They can get through. <laughs> There's Auntie Carol. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, <laughs> we are, at least you've gotten out of I know. We're just getting out of the house. Could you guys all wave? Okay, try waving. Yeah, wave to Auntie Carol and Uncle Jim through the car window. I don't know if I can see them. Yeah, you can peer in if you want to. And there is St. James Cathedral. We saw Auntie Carol and Uncle Jim. Now we're going to head home. All right, now we're going through the I-90 tunnel and crossing the floating bridge. Here's Here the bridge. Light at the end of the tunnel. That's right. So Alex, look, see how it's on top of the water? It's literally floating on Lake Washington. Doesn't it look like it's floating? It's floating. Yep, you can see the other side right there. Coronaviral see? evening traffic. That's right. Nobody on I-90. We have a fun trip. That's all he has to say. Did we have a fun trip? Yes, we did. Yeah, was it worth it? I know, but I did. But I did have. But I did have some times. But I did have a couple hard times when I had to go to the bathroom very bad, though. Yeah, we found a place in the woods to pull off where you could go. Uh, yeah. That's how we roll with no public restrooms available right now. But was it worth it? Do you think we should do some more driving adventures during the quarantine? Yep, so yep. It was so nice that on a whim we got to see Auntie Carol and Uncle Jim too, wasn't it? Isn't that nice? And also, and look at this. I wish I could ah! give them some hugs. Uh -oh. Yeah, we all wanted look to give hugs. Happened. We had to give look elbow bumps through the window. The Good job, buddy. 
half pint back here. Alright, so I am taking my very first tamoxifen. This is my estrogen blocker. Just thought I'd document it because I'm probably going to be taking this for the next 10 years and I'm not sure how it's going to affect me, if it's going to have side effects or what, but we'll see. I am taking it with um, Venlafaxine, which is the generic version of Effexor. I switched to that anti-anxiety medication because um, I was taking uh, Sertraline before, which is the generic for Zoloft, um, but they had me switch to the Venlafaxine because it's supposed to help counteract the side effects of the tamoxifen. So this is supposed to be what is going to protect me from having recurrence of breast cancer in the future. So here goes. Safe quarantine outing the water. number two. This is, Look at those islands! A pretty, yeah, we can see the Puget Sound up here. And this is the way I took to my old school. Now you it can is. see the Where are we going on the our Tula adventure? Festival. Well, it's not the festival because they had to cancel the festival because of the coronavirus. We're going to the Tulip But we're still going to just drive up to the Tulip Fields and drive around because that's a safe activity that we're, we can do, right? We're going to drive around the Tulip. The, to look at the tulips. That's right. What do you think, Tao? Last time you went to the tulips, you were just a little baby. Right. Now you're going to enjoy it more. You were just a little tiny baby. In fact, we have a vlog of that one, I think. He was just oh. six months old. He was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you were just six months old. You were a little guy. So no, Now you're two and a half. Finding creative ways to get out of the house in a safe way. And my dad is driving. Thank you, Dad. Oh, yes. My pleasure. <laughs> There's Mom. <laughs> I always love going to the two of those. They're so beautiful. Yeah, they are. We seem to go about every other year, it seems like. Yeah. We don't go every We don't go every single year. But it's too bad we can't do the festival it's part. Right. Yeah. And actually go and see the gardens. Oh, look up here. There's a whole bunch of them, Tail. Look out your window. There's a whole bunch of yellow ones. Tail, do you see tulips? I can't see them. You can't see them yet? Will you tell me when you see them? Right before we drive under some overpass and I saw some tulips. you see some? Yeah. I saw some tulips back there and I thought I saw some Are we on a bridge? You get are you, an Aki bridge. An Aki bridge? Aki, Aki, Aki. Why is it Aki? Aki, Aki, Aki. You mean Skagit? <laughs> Maybe because the paint was peeling? <laughs> Oh yeah, you can see the tulips out there. See the kids? That the tulip festival? That's the tulip fields. The tulip fields. Oh. Well, there's Rosengard all closed oh, up. It's probably employees, yeah. Look at those tulips. Ooh, getting that bright red out there. Yeah, you can see the tulip fields in the foreground there. So pretty. Something there. It might be white ones. 
Are those the white daffodils? Or maybe they're white daffodils. Maybe we could pull off up here. Well, the tulip festival is closed, but we're driving around because they still have some daffodil fields. I'm hoping to find a couple of other tulip fields out here. They're beautiful. And it looks like we've got some white ones and some yellow ones over here. Well, fancy, fancy meeting you here. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice way to spend the April afternoon. What was that? Happy mommy! Happy mommy! I agree. Yes, indeed. I agree. You see Tayo up, I see up by you. his window. Say hi, mommy. <laughs> that was cute. Bigger brother's little brother. Golden planet. Yeah. Mercury, Venus, Saturn, Mars. Oh. And she's out. Where are you going? Well, we made it home. Sophie's asleep. Did we have a good time, Alex? Was that worth it? Oh, she's waking up. Whoa! I'll Sophie, take that as did a you yes. take a nap too? Did you have a good time? Yeah. <laughs> did we have fun? We sure did. Yeah. Wow. We certainly did. So, we found some new woods by our house. And Bill had actually been working on these trails down here for a couple of years. We had never seen any evidence of anybody else down here. But it looks like the neighbors finally discovered it. And they're now helping to build a little wonderland down here. And it's so cool. So there's a little blackberry wonderland in there. That'll be interesting, keeping it back once all of the blackberries come out. How cool is that? They started building a fort. I wonder what they're going to do next. go to anywhere though. Oh, there's a blue jay over there. See it? Hi, blue jay. There are a couple of little creeks that flow into the one big creek down the hill. Look at all this new growth on the trees here. Is this creek run into our creek? Uh, yeah, I think so. There. I'm glad we explored that together. That's kind of cool to discover those new things near our house, huh? In the woods. What are you imagining? Outer space. Look what I see. I see wild plants. They're starting to sprout. Your zinnias. 
Wow, this, and this is, is Vinic. This is mine. Yeah. What do the seeds look like when they were sprouting? Well, you can see. That's what they look like. They're poking out of. You see what how they're poking they out? What did they look like when they were still in the dirt? Well, we could watch a video about that. See, there's a little sprout coming. Tail. What is this? F chemistry. Chemistry? F chemistry. And here's another I'm making for Taya. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, 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 mommy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Goofball. <laughs> the sun wow. is going to be that big. <gasps> that big. <laughs> okay. And then there's going to be mercury. Can I see my hand big, Alex? Can I see this my hand? This is actually a really good way to do shadow puppets. The, this is mercury, which is going That's to very be very creative. Then there's well, Venus. Wait, wait. Then there's Earth, which is that big. Mom. Then there's Mars, which is going to be that big. Then there's Jupiter. Where's Jupiter? Alex, this is cool. I like the blue. That's cool, huh? And there's cool, huh? Jupiter. Which is going to be about that big. <laughs> Good size comparison there. And then there's going to be Saturn, which is going to be a little smaller, but about but about the same size. Which is going to be um that big. Yeah, Alex, you came up with this idea entirely on your own, didn't you? It's well, very creative. Here's here's a big monster. Well, you have to have your hands. Yeah, there you go. There are your hands. <gasps> chomp, 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 chomp. Here. Oh, that's a butterfly. Hi, welcome to Alex Explains. My name is Alex, and I'm going to show you about lost mascotas. What does mascotas mean? Pets. In what? Spanish. Yeah, so in Espanol? Yeah. All right, let's go do a little tour. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Alex's channel. My name is Alex, and I'm going to show you lots of, la, lots of animals. En Espanol. Espanol. This is a lion. Leon is is the name in Spanish. Leon. Yeah, where is that lion from? This one is made out of slipper from Grandma and Granddad, and and and, and flip flops. Made out of flip flop from Grandma and Granddad when they traveled on their adventure to yeah, I can't Africa. see its face. Show me its face. That's pretty cool. Leon is not una mascota. Most people don't have a lion as a pet, do they? Yep. That wouldn't be very smart. Next will be Pedro, which is a dog. Let's do, and speaking of which, Snoopy blasts off. Oh, Senora Wallace loves Snoopy. Pedro. 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 Hey, there you go. Good job. These stuffed animals were mommy's when she was a little girl. Is that a when domestic? Mommy, mommy was una niña. En español, you say tengo un gato. Tengo un gato. That means I have a cat. Oso. Oso is bear. And then tengo un oso. Tengo un oso. And look, his legs can move. Such a smart bear. Monkey is a mono. This is like a spider monkey because he waves like this and he has very long arms and hands. It can hug. It can give you a big hug. Remember, do you know how to say hug in Espanol? No. Un abrazo. Un abrazo. Adios. Hey, what? Alex, ¿cuál mascota es tu favorito? I, Snoopy is my favorite. Can you say that? Snoopy is my favorite. Snoopy is mi favorito. Snoopy is mi favorito. Get ready, because I'm going to take you on a little trip. Okay. We're going on a little journey to my, to my real pet. Do you remember the word for adventure? Engento? Aventura. We're going on an aventura. Down the stairs we go. Vamanos. Meet my pig named Alpha. Alpha the beta. Alpha the beta. Okay. Es su comida. Es su comida. Eat. Aquí, pez, pez, pez. There he goes. Get him up close so you can see what he looks like. Oh, he's eating his food. That's 
That's our real pet, our one real pet, huh? Yep, it's our pet named Alpha. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more Alex, for more Alex Explains about pets and, and some other things too. Okay, see you next time. Adios! First ever buzz cut. It's taken seven years to get to this point. <laughs> seven years. This is the easiest, fastest haircut I've ever done. So what happened in the first year? Well, the very first year he was okay with haircuts, but then he started having sensory issues. Uh -huh. And uh, for a while there, it took three adults to get it done. Two That's... to hold the poor child down, and one to do the cutting. He's got and quite then... a look on his face there. Yeah. Mommy! Then he warmed up you to the scissors. You were the three grown-ups that would hold me. Um, usually, Daddy, Grandma would hold you, and I would cut. We're at the phase now. Theo is two and a half, and it seems like for the kids in our family, that's between two and a half and three and a half, is the age of terror. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah. And so we are having at least one, often multiple times a day, massive meltdowns, aren't we? Yeah. But then the sweet side of that is once we calm down, then we're extra sweet, aren't we? Yeah. And snuggles. Yeah. yeah. We just have it. It's such a all or nothing stage right now. We're either intensely emotional or we are intensely quiet and sweet. I love you. How's that working, Mom? That is it work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet boy. Nice thing about third child is that we know to expect it this time. So, Mommy doesn't freak out as much as Mommy used to with the other two, especially with the first one. And I didn't know what the heck was going on. I mean, I had an idea, but I didn't know how to handle it. Now mommy has an idea. We just we just have to weather the storm until it's over and then we have the calm after the storm, don't we? Yeah. So mommy feels a little more seasoned at this now. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. You're so cute. You made a toot toot.